to help you identify some of the creatures you might see out here today. Now, I can't promise we'll get to see all of them, but we usually get pretty lucky. Just a couple quick reminders before we begin. We want to make sure everybody remains fully and completely seated at all times, keeping all hands, arms, feet. <laughs> now, we are going to be making our way down to the watering hole here, and watering holes are usually pretty good gathering spots for animals. It looks like there is a saddle-built stork in the water here on our left-hand side, this large black and white bird. That. Now, they're going to be reaching around five feet in height, and they do wow. have about a nine-foot wow. wingspan. Uh, it's about the width of the canopy that's above your heads right now. Oh. And a really cool... And yeah. some more greater kudu up the hill. Wow. On the left. Hey, so. yeah, I'll hit the hippopotamus on land, and it looks like mom is just yeah. below her. Keeping an eye out. Yeah, uh, hippos, they do spend the majority of their day in the water to protect their skin from the sun. And they can hold their breath for up to eight minutes at a time. When hippos first born, they're already around 85 pounds, and they're going to reach 5,500 pounds full grown. And friends, they can feet in length full grown, and they can live for more than 40 years old. Their jaws are so powerful, they're able to take down prey much larger than themselves, like zebra and wildebeest. But they're also delicate enough to hold their eggs in their mouths and roll them around a bit to help hatch the feeder in order to conserve water. And they get the nickname upside down tree because of the fact that those branches high as a giraffe can reach. Oh, wow. A giraffe will spend the majority of their day eating and trust me, they would eat that entire tree if they could. So, like I said, these animals make their way into the den as we speak. Now they are different from hyenas but they're still one of the best predators out here. They also get the nickname Painted Dogs because of their so that's how they're able to recognize one another. They'll be white with black stripes. They do come both ways. So wildebeest up the hill on our right. Wildebeest are extremely herd oriented. About 1.5 million of them will migrate a thousand miles over the south. When they're first born, they're at about six feet tall. They're going to reach 18 to 20 feet in height, full grown. Now, it did, and they won't take that 30 minutes all at once, though. They're going to have short micro naps, as they're called, that are only a few minutes long at a time. And they will typically sleep standing up as a way to better protect themselves from the predators. Yeah, now, we can also tell that these giraffe are Maasai giraffes because of their spots. They're kind of rough around the edges, look like little jigsaw puzzle pieces. And each giraffe will have their own unique pattern. Just 30, around 16 years old, they're going to go off from the rest of the herd and be pretty solitary. Sometimes forming smaller groups with other males. This female who's in charge of the group. And the females tend to be why uh, we're able to find so many elephant in this area is because of all the other baobab trees around here. During dry season and drought, animals with horns and tusk, they're able to make holes into the baobab tree. Our way around the greater flamingo, they're in the lightest shade of pink, and the tallest of the flamingo, going to reach around four feet in height. And when they first hatch, they are completely gray in color. Now it's going to take a little over a year after they hatch until they get that uh, pink coloration. It's gonna go. Can't keep those speeds up for very long though, only short sprints at a time. They do have that nice long tail of theirs. And uh, so we'll see if we are able to find any. Daytime. And it's most of the females will go out at night to do the hunting. Uh, they're going to run at about 40 miles per hour and use their wings to help steer themselves while they are running. Now, as we pass, you'll also see the ostrich eggs behind them out on the right-hand side here. Those eggs are going to weigh around 3 pounds each and they can be by wildlife. Also, as you can see, the goats, they are quite small. They don't take up a lot of space.